Hi everyone, this is Rich from Iowa Audio. I thought I'd do a short video about fear and fear for the future. My daughter was sat having breakfast this morning and my daughter had a bit of a glum look on her face, as I did as well. Uh, it's Monday morning and you're kind of getting back into that work mode. Uh, and I said to her, what's up? And she, says, um, she said, well, I've got to have this homework in by Friday. And if I don't do it by Friday, I'm going to have to stay behind, you know, uh, in lunchtime and do it then. Now, if she had asked me the same question, you know, what's up, Dad? Why have you got that glum look on your face? I would have said, I'm trying to figure out if I will be self-employed for the next 25 or 30 years. Because that's kind of one of my fears uh, that kind of gnaws away. You know, when the working week starts, you get this, I personally, I have these kind of little anxieties that creep in, you know, is work gonna come in this week? And then it kind of extends to the future. Well, I can't see into the future. Uh, I don't think anybody can. Um, so, but it's a kind of human quality that we're constantly trying to um, figure out what is gonna happen in the future. And that creates this kind of fear because we don't know uh, and then that creates anxiety. And then before you know it, you're kind of, you're, you're breathing shallows. And uh, yeah, it doesn't put you in a very good mood. And uh, my daughter had got Star of the Week on Friday, which was like a first week back. So I said to her, look, Scarlett, you've got, you know, you've just done, you've got Star of the Week, first week back. Look at what you've done and, you know, just be you know live off that be happy about that you're doing really well so don't worry about the future now that was easy for me to say because i was sat there you know worrying about the future um so we kind of made this plan like that's your fear for the future what can we do about it now so i said rather than leave it all week you know worrying about this i've got to do my homework bear in mind she's only at um primary school now why don't we, <clears throat> when you get back from school tonight, it's Monday, we'll do the homework, then it's done. You don't have to worry about it for the rest of the week. You can just go and play in room and create, which you, she'd rather do than do homework. But And you never know, you might just enjoy doing your homework. So that's kind of one of the things that I do to manage my uh, fear for the future is set myself little goals um, now. Uh, so like, you know, make, making marketing tools for the week, I tend to do on a Monday uh, and try and do things that so I'm prepared for the coming week. Uh, and yeah, just try, try and take it step by step. So to, to try and manage those, those, uh, those thoughts, those fears for the future, I try and bring myself, I have to give myself a kind of pep talk and say, I think what it is, again, it comes back down to being human, is that uh, our brain is in, encased in this skull and it can only see the outside world through our eyes. So we're kind of walking around in the dark, in a sense, and trying to figure out what is going to happen in the future and prepare for that so that we can survive as, as a living being, as a human being. Uh, and it's kind of impossible to do that uh, so you have to, I have to kind of give myself a bit of a talk where I say, right, what is around you now? You know, have you got food? Have you got somewhere to sleep? Have you got roof over your head? You know, all these kind of basic things. Have you got them? Yes, we've got them. Right, that's okay. That's sorted. Okay, when it comes to work, have you got a bit of work on? Yes, I've got a little bit of work on this week. Okay, that's sorted. You're fine you're okay and you have to kind of bring yourself back down to a local level where you say yeah everything's fine i'm doing okay i've got food got water kids are okay blah 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 and and try and yeah try and bring yourself back to down to earth a little bit and rather than running away from yourself and i guess that's kind of in a in a not a smaller sense but that's what i was trying to do with scarlet is you know look at what you've just achieved you've got star of the week um you've achieved something you know you've got roof over your head you've got food blah, blah 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 so don't worry about the future because we can sort it now we can sort it 
um, after school and do your homework. Uh, so if you are in that kind of position where you are kind of fearing for the future, a good thing that I do if I get kind of bogged down in that is I go out on my bike. One, you get away from from that kind of sitting in your, in your studio or your, your office or whatever, thinking about it. Uh, and it gives you a chance to clear your mind and think about what you have around you or now at this point. And also the endorphins give you a, a more positive outlook and a positive perspective on your life in general and, and especially like with work. And, it, and it, can, it makes me more creative as well. It gives me more ideas of what I can do to kind of help generate more work or just enjoy what I'm doing you know that that kind of fear about the future can get get in the way of uh, enjoying being self-employed and enjoying being creative so uh, yeah getting out on the bike and um, doing exercise really helps me kind of manage that as well and, and also um, you know if things do go quiet it can be quite easy for your your mind to run away with itself and say oh my god this is it uh, this is the end i'm gonna have to go and do something else or you know i'm gonna have to sell all my equipment and blah blah blah, blah. And your mind run away your mind runs away with itself um but it's kind of again just kind of managing that and bringing it back down to 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 worth a little bit and saying right what can i do what can i be how can i be proactive and 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 kind of help that. So, you know, getting in touch with old clients or trying to make uh, new customers or, you know, doing a little bit of marketing or updating your website or doing these things that um, are all positive things to try and build more work or having a side hustle. Uh, I, I was thinking about that this morning. I think my side hustle at the moment, because I don't just make voice demos. I do like commercial production imaging. I do some stuff like fireworks displays. So, and I do voiceover work. So it's kind of lots of different things to do with the same kind of industry. But I think one of my side hustles is the allotment because you know I've been doing it for a few years now. I've learned quite a lot. It helps to provide food for the family. It it keeps the bills down. So it doesn't a side hustle doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go out and get another job. It can be what can I do um, to help, kind of not spend as much money or kind of keep the bills down. So growing your own food, I think, is a, a great side hustle. So yeah maybe do something like that that can be proactive but then again just asking yourself if you do get these feelings you know ask yourself the question why am i feeling like this and what is it specifically that's making me feel that way like is it because i can't pay the bills or is it because i haven't got any uh, work at the moment or is it because i have got work on but i feel as though i might lose that work and i need to get more work you know what is it that is actually making you feel that way and kind of try and pinpoint it and then you can try and start to make plans to kind of help that why you're feeling that way sometimes you can have all the work in the world and still feel like that i don't think it ever goes away. I think it's a survival uh, instinct that, you know, even though we've got a food a pantry full of food, what happens when that runs out? We've still got to generate more food. So don't think that you're the only person feeling this way. I think that everybody feels this way, even if you're you know, multimillionaires, you know, got all the money in the world. I still think that you'd have that primal um, survival instinct and that fear of the future. But it's just how you manage it and kind of talk to yourself and bring yourself back down and have things in place that help you to do that as well. Again, I'm no expert. I have to deal with this on a day to day and a week by week basis. But I understand that a lot of people, if not most people, are going through that in, in some form or another so look after yourself don't try not to worry try to enjoy what you've got and what's around you you know people that we care about and those kind of things and yeah have a good week i'll speak to you soon